Let me tell you how hard it was to find a review on YouTube for this bag. Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Devin. So if you're new here, welcome. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the Lululemon City Adventure Large Duffel Bag in the size 29L. I felt like I needed to do the community of YouTube a favor by reviewing this heckin' expensive bag. Before I purchased this, I was trying to find reviews online. I couldn't find anything except for a different bag that Lululemon has in a 26L. And so that was when I decided that I needed to do this review for you guys. I'm going to try to do my best to give you guys a good review on this. So without further ado, let me show you the bag. Side note, I purchased this with my own hardworking money. And uh, this is by all means not sponsored at all by Lululemon. Although I do wish they would sponsor me because that would be really nice. So I'm just going to put that out in the universe because hashtag maybe one day, right? But anyway, here is the bag that I want to show all of you. There she is in all her glory. Like I said, this bag is $168. Before you judge me. I needed this or the way I justified this to myself was I needed this to be able to travel. I needed this to essentially, whenever I go to my boyfriend's parents' house, I don't want to be carrying around a luggage all the time. And I don't take that much clothes anyway whenever we go visit them. I only end up using a couple of items, so I have no idea why I think that I need such a large suitcase for a three-day weekend. So... In order to try to minimize my life and simplify it and just not take so many things with me all the time, this was my justification as to why I got this bag. For starters, this bag does come in three colors. I'll try to insert the colors here. It comes in a green, the black one that I just showed you with the lettering at the bottom, and as well as an all black one with the no lettering at all. So if you like that minimalist style, then maybe that one's for you. So I was debating whether I should get that one or this one, but when it came down to it, I'm kind of glad that I got the one with the lettering at the bottom because it just gives it a little bit more pizzazz, I guess. Uh, I felt like if I would have got the all black, then it would have just been a little bit boring. And we don't want to be boring, so that's why I got that one. I'm 5'1", and normally bags will be really long, like when I'm carrying it on my side. It'll be just way too long and it starts dragging on the floor. But this bag, it doesn't do that. It does give you the option to adjust it if you are taller. Um, but this is the max for if you're shorter. So it's perfect for me. I could also make it longer if I wanted to. And carry it like this for the gym. Um, yeah. I think it's good for us vertically challenged people, aka me. So I have an upcoming trip to go visit my family back east. And so I wanted to create some good content because I am going to Boston. So I needed to take my main filming camera, which is this one, it's the Canon 80D. Um, but I also wanted to take my vlogging camera, which is the Canon G7X Mark III and all of both cameras accessories so that I can film with my family or just like show you guys around and some cool spots. But those are my ideas for a future video. Let's not worry about that right now. So for this trip though, I wanted it so that I can comfortably be able to carry all my accessories, an extra purse. I wanted to take two purses just in case I take like outfit pictures or stuff like that um i have a black one and a cream one so it matches so i was thinking of like using one as just a little crossbody personal item and then 
putting my larger bag inside of this duffel bag so that way I can store it under the seats on the aircraft. In addition, I also want to take my laptop just in case I want to edit to get ahead of some stuff. And also, guys, I am so sorry for being so inactive on YouTube, but you know, work has been a real stress. So mentally, I just haven't been in the right headspace to be able to film, but it is summertime and I'm going to do a new series too, because I am going to Antigua. So we need to prepare. I need to prepare <laughs> myself for that trip. So look out for that series. It's going to be like a getting ready for Antigua series. I've started working out the past three weeks, so I'll probably take you and show you my little process for working out, getting my hair done, if I do my nails, eyelashes, whatever it's going to be. I want to take you guys around with me for that trip and just show you how I get ready for international trips too. So. That's another reason why I wanted this bag as well. So I'll be doing a lot of traveling between from now, which is going to almost be July and like to September quite frequently. So that's why I really justified this purchase. And I was taking around just my tote bag and I couldn't really take many items. So this is the perfect way to just conceal everything. Nothing's open. Everything's zipped up. And I don't have to worry at the airport as well for anybody getting into my items if they so tried to do such a thing. Yeah, so I feel like this bag can carry quite a lot of things. For starters, what I put for this trip, my MacBook and I have the 14 inch MacBook Pro. There's a pocket that you can insert your laptop in. First, I thought that it didn't come with a laptop storage. So I was almost about to just return it just because of that. And I put it inside of the bag here. That's how deep it goes. And I was like, this is just not secure for me at all. But in all actuality, there is a separate laptop zipper thing. I don't know how to call these things. So it's right in the back. It's super discreet. Like if I wouldn't have seen this little zipper, I definitely wouldn't have even realized that that was the laptop storage. So you can open that up and you can just put it on in there. So this fits a 16 inch laptop. If you have a 16 inch, you could fit that. I don't know if it fits or not because I only have a 14 inch. Uh, my boyfriend has a 17, so that's probably not gonna work. Let me just list some of the key product features, Lululemon features on their website. So obviously it has the handles that you can carry it by and it also has a cross body strap. Um, so that would be perfect if you're going to like the gym or anything or if you don't want to carry it um, with by your hands or the crook of your arm, um, you can lug it across your chest or even just use it as a shoulder strap too. Um, it has a little small zipper on the front side. You can put your wallet in here. It has like a little mesh compartment as well. You could put your wallet, your phone, your passport if you wanted to, to keep that all secure in the zipper. So that way if you're at the airport, it's easy to access and you don't have to go through the whole entire bag um, to rummage through and find those items. Another thing that I loved and like I said, the main reason why, well, one of the main reasons why it was like an extra tick mark, like, yes, you should get it, was that it does have a little sleeve. I guess they call it a trolley sleeve where you can fit this on the handle of your luggage. That's a really, really great feature to have. I know that for when I had my tote bag, I used to have to put the handles over my luggage and it would still fall or open up or I had to like cross it. It was just a mess trying to carry that all together and make sure one, nobody was trying to pickpocket me anywhere um, or two, that it didn't fall off while I was rolling it around with me. So that's a really nice feature um, that it has. And that's another reason why I've got this one. The other one that they have on their website, 
I believe only has like a really skinny strap and it like clicks. This one seems really sturdy and it's not going to break or anything like that. So that's really cool to have. So another reason why I really like this bag was because it has a pocket underneath that you can open up and you can put your gym shoes if you want to or say you went to the beach you can put like your wet bathing suit in there or you can put your sweaty gym clothes after you're done with the gym if you took a shower at the gym you can place your dirty items underneath and you can keep it separate from the inside of your bag as well like your towel and all your clean clothes personally for myself i don't like it when my shoes and my clothes are in the same compartment i just don't think that's really hygienic so this underneath storage is perfect for that um, i will say though one of the downsides of this bag is it doesn't unzip all the way through it's just a half zip so depending on how much you fill in on the top side will determine how much space you have underneath if anything if it was me i would fit in my shoes underneath and then pack whatever i need inside of the bag up here that way it allows you to have a lot more space um or you you know how much space you have left to work with once you put your shoes in there if i wasn't taking my big camera um and i wasn't taking this because this stores all of my camera gear i can open it up for you um, I have all my items in here. Normally, my camera will go in this compartment. And I have my smaller vlogging camera here and all the chargers, extra lenses, carrying straps. So I have this little vlogging camera so you just like, hey guys, what's up? But so it, as you can see, it, this one carries a lot of things. So if I wasn't taking this and I was only taking my vlogging camera, uh, that would free up my main storage space on the lemon bag. So I would just fit in like a purse. And usually when I go internationally, I don't carry any of my luxury items at all because I don't want to run the risk of it getting stolen in the hotel or be losing it accidentally. Um, that's just not a risk I'm willing to take with the amount of money that I spent. So when I travel, I don't take my laptop. I don't take any expensive purses or anything like that. So this one would mostly just be for like any extra things that I might purchase if I'm out there or if I want to bring more clothes or more shoes, I'll at least have this to be able to work with. On the inside, you also have another zipper. You can add your item of importance. So you can fit a wallet, another wallet, or whatever else you need in here. And it has that signature Lululemon hair tie, actually. You can use this as a hair tie if you didn't know. If you ever lose yours, these are meant to be like hair ties. Although I personally wouldn't put it in my hair because I don't know if it's good for your hair, but it's there if you ever did need it. So then you have two more little mesh pockets here. Um, I don't know what you can put, but say if I was just taking my vlogging camera, I'd probably put it in here or in this way. Probably this is the point so that it doesn't fall out while traveling or it doesn't get damaged or anything like that. Another cool feature about this bag is also water repellent. So you don't have to worry about it getting soaked in the water or if it's raining. Say you're in a city that rains a lot, you're going to the gym or if it's your work bag. I don't know if you want to, to take it as your work bag, you could. But if it starts to rain, you don't have to worry about your items getting soaked because it will repel that water. So I'm going to show you some other ways that I would also use this bag, not just for traveling internationally with my camera setup and all of that, but actually show you what it would be like for a real vacation getaway or if you're going to the gym and stuff like that.
So if you wanted my honest feedback and review of this bag, I would 100% recommend it to anybody. I really think Lululemon did a really good job with this. The only downside I wish on their website was that they would give you a little bit more pictures as far as how the bag is on the inside and what you can and can't fit in there. Photo shots that they took on the website could have been a little bit better. As far as like ease of use, um, what it can store, what it does, all of the features that it has. While it's quite simple, um, for me, it works in my lifestyle and uh, I'm hoping that it'll work for you too or I'm hoping that this review ended up helping you in making or deciding whether you wanted to purchase it or maybe not purchase it as well. So if you ended up liking this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, thank you as always for sticking it all the way to the end. I hope to get see you all in the next video. And like I said, I'll be doing a lot more trips coming up. So um, look out for those videos on trips to Boston. I'm also going to be going to San Diego to walk in my graduation ceremony. I graduated like last year, but finally having the ceremony and then my Antigua trip. So that'll be fun. Um, so yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.